so hello everyone so yeah uh, in this session we are going to discuss with the solution of non homogeneous linear differential equations so till now we have discussed all the homogeneous equations all some of some of the important problems so now let's start with the non homogeneous part okay so here in non homogeneous equation the value of r of x is not equal to 0 we would be having some standard values for r of x okay so here whenever r of x is not equal to 0 right the first thing we need to do here is what what would we we would be doing in homogeneous in homogeneous the general solution y we would be writing it as directly the final answer right so here in case of non homogeneous equation whatever we write the general solution right that's not the final answer that general solution we would be writing it as y is equal to something right that would be our final answer right so now in this non homogeneous part the what is whatever is y right that is equal to y c okay this y c corresponds to a complementary function okay so now whenever r of x is not equal to 0 then clearly we can say that f d of y c equal to 0 so now after that we need to find the particular integral okay that corresponds to y p y p that is called as particular integral for the solution for the in order to find the general solution so in this case the solution for non homogeneous equation the general solution is given as y is equal to yc plus yp so now what is this yp we know that yc is the same thing which we have solved in homogeneous part it remains the same first we need to write the equation then it corresponds to f of d we need to put it as f of m we need to find the roots and we need to write the final solution for yc okay so in homogeneous part that would be a final answer right so in this case that's not a final answer after that we need to find the particular integral okay the particular integral is given as by p the formula for particular integral is 1 by f of d into r of x okay this is the formula for the particular integral okay where the value of r of x so now this comes the twist so value of r of x is now of the form e to the power ax this is the first type of this non homogeneous linear differential equations okay we would be having three types okay type 1 type 2 type 3 and and the last type is the mixed type where all these kind of uh, type 1 type 2 type 3 would be mixed and given in form of r of x okay so in this first type the value of r of x is of the form e to the power ax where a are constants where the constants from 1 to infinity okay and one by whatever this f of d is there right so whatever we write the first equation that d square uh plus 4 d plus 4 into y we write it right the first step whatever this is there right? this corresponds to f of d we have discussed it right yeah that we need to apply it here in order to find find y of p into r of x is of the form e to the power ax okay so now steps to find the value of y of p what what and all we should do to find the particular integral here okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to replace d by a then y of y p is equal to f of a into e to the power a x okay replacing d by a means for example let's take this equation only d square plus 4d plus 4 is equal to f of d so here let's think that the value of r of x given in the question is e to the power 3x okay so here the value of a is 3 right so in this equation we need to replace d by a wherever d is there right replace it by a that is 3 right so this would be 3 square plus 4 into 3 plus 4 so 3 square is 9 4 3 is 12 9 plus 12 is 21 plus 4 is 25 so like this we are we are going to solve okay so whenever where f of a when we solve this right f of a whatever we get should not be equal to 0 okay but while we for example there would be some cases where in f of d we substitute the value of a we get the denominator as 0 we know that anything to the divided by 0 is not defined right so for that we have another type of uh, uh, step that is whenever we got f of a after substituting the value of a as 0 then our uh, particular integral would be looking like this x into e power ax divided by f dash of d what is f dash of d f dash of d is the derivative of f of d 
see let's consider this equation itself okay so now the derivative of this equation would be looking like derivative of d square is 2d 4d is plus 4 and the derivative of 4 is 0 so now f dash of d is equal to 2d plus 4 okay i have just taken the example so now for this we need to apply the value of a that is 3 so now it would be 2 into 3 plus 4 6 plus 4 is 10 okay so now for this we need to apply this is the case where when we get the value of f of a as this if we uh, substitute the value of a such a way that if we get the value of a as 0 then only we are going to apply this formula okay so that is yp into x into e power whenever we are taking the derivative of f of d we need to remember that in the numerator we need to uh, multiply x in the numerator okay same goes if again for this f dash of d when we substitute in some cases again for this we get it as 0 okay if we get again f of f dash of a is uh, equal to 0 then again the same thing again we need to take the derivative of f dash of d again that is f double dash of d right after taking the derivative again the same thing in place of numerator now last time we sub, uh, multiplied x right so now we need to multiply x square okay so the same thing goes again again if this denominator is equal to 0 in the next uh, in, uh, next step we need to multiply again the numerator by x cube again we need to take the derivative of the denominator okay yeah so in this way we need to solve these kind of problems okay so take a note here same tools are applicable if r of x is equal to e to the power ax plus b okay and if r of x is equal to e to the power ax e, uh, r of x is equal to a power x sorry a power x means sometimes the question would be given as okay, r of x would be equal to some constant to the power x okay how to represent this 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 r of x you can also be written as e to the power log 2 into x okay this can be replaced by this okay we would be solving those type of problems okay yeah where r of again the third uh, note is r of x is equal to k means r of x is equal to some constant number that is let's consider as 2 so that we can write it as so how to so if the r of x value is 2 so where is the value of a here the value of a is not given right so in order to get the value of a whenever we have only a constant term we need to remember that in e power a x the value of a here is 0 ok so let's add here 2 e to the power 0 x we know that e to the power 0 is 1 so 2 into 1 would be equal to 2 right right yeah so the same uh, goes with the hyperbolic functions that is sin h a x and cos h a x whenever there are uh, in the r of x value in the r of place of r of x if these five terms are present we can simplify them using by substituting these formulas okay so that we, the last last step we would be getting all the uh, values in the form of e to the power ax okay yeah so that's all so now we'll solve problems related to this first type type 1 okay yeah yeah so this is the first question of this non-homogeneous part okay type 1 problems so the first question is 6d square y by dx square plus 17 dy by dx plus 12y is equal to see here the value of r of x is not equal to 0 right now it is of the form e to the power ax where the value of a here is minus 1 okay yeah so the first part first part remains the same first half of the problem so that for that to find the complementary function y c the same thing whatever we did in the homogeneous we are going to do it again okay no there is no change in that part so the first thing here is replace all this d square by dx square d by dx by 6 d square y plus 17 dy plus 12y is equal to e to the power minus x okay so now put the same thing d is equal to m so that this vanishes so now 6m square plus 17m plus 12 is equal to 0 right so now for this apply the quadratic equation the same thing okay the value of b here is 17 so minus 17 plus or minus square root of 17 square 17 square is 289 okay minus 4 into 12 into 6 4 into 12 into 6 
12 fours are 48. 48 into 6 is equal to 288. Right? Let's check it. 48 6s are 6 8s are 48. 4 carrying 6 over 24 plus 4 28. Yeah, 288. Divided by 2 into 6, 12. Minus 17 plus or minus square root of 289 minus 288 is 1 by 12. M is equal to minus 17 plus or minus square root of 1 is 1 by 12. So the roots are minus 17 plus 1 by 12, comma minus 17 minus 1 by 12. Therefore M is minus 17 plus 1 minus 16 by 12 minus 18 by 12. Okay. Yeah, so this goes in the four tables. So four threes are four fours are, and this goes in six tables. Six twos are six threes are. So the roots are minus four by three, comma minus three by two. So here we found the two roots, right? And these are the two roots. Sorry, since there is no cubic polynomial, so these are the roots. So now using this, now we are going to write the not the general solution so since r of x is not zero so here the this is the complementary function which we are writing first okay yeah c1 into e to the power minus 4 by 3x plus c2 into e to the power minus 3 by 2 x so this is the complementary function this is not the completion of the problem now so now we are going to find the particular integral okay that is represented as y of p and the formula for y of p is 1 by f d f of d into r of x okay so now let's see how this how to find the particular integral yeah so y of p is equal to 1 by what what is the f of d here so here we can see that if we take y common here 6 d square plus 17 d plus 12 into y okay so this is your f of d here okay so the same thing we are going to substitute here also f of d in place of f of d 6 d square plus 17 d plus 12 into the r of x in the given question is e to the power minus x okay so now the next step is replace d by a where the value of a is equal to e to the power a x right so in place of a we have minus 1 right so now y of p would be 1 by 6 into minus 1 square plus 17 into minus 1 plus 12 into e to the power minus x. So y of p is equal to e to the power minus x divided by minus 1 the whole square is equal to 1. So 6 ones are 6 minus 17 plus 12. So the value of y p is equal to e to the power minus x divided by uh, 6 uh, to 6 plus 12 is 18 18 minus 17 is 1 okay so the final value we get is y of p is equal to e to the power minus x okay so now we have found y of c and y of p so in order to write the general solution y is equal to y c plus y p okay whatever we got the values for y c and y p we are going to add them and write it okay Okay, so now the final value of y is yc. What is yc? c1 e to the power minus 4 by 3x, right? Plus c2 e to the power minus 3 by 2x. Plus, what is yp? e to the power minus x. So this is your final general solution. Okay, the general solution would be written like this. In the homogeneous part, whatever yc is there, right? That would be a general solution. So in this non-homogeneous, yc plus whatever we got yp while solving we are going to sum them up and write it down okay yeah so we are going to solve few more problems so second this is second question i will bring it to you so this is the second question the given question is d square minus 4d plus 3 of y is equal to e power x plus 1 the whole square okay the r of x is equal to now r of x is equal to e power x plus 1 the whole square okay so now we need to simplify a bit r of x that is we will apply the a plus b the whole square identity and we will write it as r of x is equal to e power x uh, whole square right e power x whole square that is a square plus 2ab 2 into e power x into 1 plus 1 square 
so therefore the r of x we get is e power x the whole square that is e power 2x plus 2 e power x plus 1 so while simplifying we got the r of x as this term so now we are going to write it again d square minus 4d plus 3 of y is equal to e power 2x plus 2 e power x plus 1 So here we have three terms in place of r of x. We have three terms. Here, so see the last term is constant. Okay, so we in the one of the notes we have discussed that whenever we have a constant, it can be written as one into e power zero x, where the value of a is zero. Okay, so now we are going to apply that. So here, y p. In order to find particular integral y p, we have three terms right of e power x. so we are going to in order to find y p first we need to find the particular integral of this term then this term then the third term that is first we need to find y p 1 y p 2 then y p 3 then after that to find y p we need to sum these all terms okay yeah so i'll tell you in the problem how to show that okay so the first step remains the same to find the complementary function that is we need to put d is equal to m according to the auxiliary equation so it becomes m square minus 4m plus 3 equal to 0 use the quadratic formula here we in place of d we have minus 4 so minus into minus plus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 square uh, 16 and 4 into 3 into 1 so 12 divided by 2 m is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 4 is 4 by 2 m is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 by 2 so we get m is equal to 4 plus 2 by 2 and 4 minus 2 by 2 which corresponds 4 plus 2 is 6 right 6 by 2 comma 4 minus 2 is 2 2 by 2 so this is 1 2 ones are through 6 three are so the roots which we are getting is 3 comma 1 right So now the particular integral, uh, sorry, the complementary function is written as c1 into the first root is e power 3x plus c2 into the second root is e power x. So this is your complementary function. So now we need to find the particular integral. So uh, this is the formula for particular integral. Y p is equal to 1 by f of d into r of x. But we have the particular integral of r of x is of the form of e to the power 2x plus 2e power x plus 1 right we uh, split it into three terms so we are going to uh, use the terms one by one so first let's take r of x is equal to e power 2x so that we need to find y p as y p 1 plus y p 2 plus y p 3 at, at the end okay so the first thing we are going to find is y p 1 for that we need to consider only r of x is equal to e power 2x okay yeah So now one by what is the f of d which we have got? Yeah. So in the question it is given that d square minus 4d plus 3 into r of x here. Now first we need to consider e power 2x in order to find y p 1. Okay. So again we need to replace d by a and the value of a here is 2. Okay. So y p 1 is equal to 1. Sorry, e power 2x. Divided by 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 3. Therefore, y p 1 is equal to e power 2x divided by 2 square is 4. Oh, so 4 minus 4 into 2 minus 8 plus 3. So y p 1 is equal to e power 2x divided by 4 plus 3 is 7 minus 8 is minus 1. So the y p 1 we get is minus of e power 2x. Okay. Yeah. So now we found only y p 1. So similar, we we need to find y p two and y p three. So now, in order to find y p through y p two, we need to consider in the this value two into e power x. Okay, y p two is equal to one by f of d is again remains the same for all d square minus four d plus three and into r of x now is two e power x. Okay, yeah. So y p two is equal to so here the value of a is one, right? So I'm going to write it directly. 2 into e power x in the numerator, and the value of a is 1. a is equal to 1 here. Okay. 1 square minus 4 into 1 plus 
y p2 is equal to 2 e power x divided by 1 square is 1 minus 4 plus 4 plus 3. So we get 2 e power x divided by 1 minus 4 is minus 3 and minus 3 plus 3 is 0. See, we got now this as 0, right? So now we what to do further? I've told you, right? Whenever the f of d term, when we replace it by a and when we solve, when we get this f of d is equal to f of a is equal to 0, now we need to take the derivative of f of d. That is now f of d we have it as d square minus 4d plus 3 right so now we need to take the derivative of f of d that is f dash of d f dash of d is d square derivative is 2d and minus 4d is minus 4 and uh, the value of uh, constant 3 is 0 so now the yp2 will be looking like 2 into whenever we took the derivative i said right we, in the numerator what we need to multiply x correct 2x into e power x divided by now the f of d has changed to 2d minus 4 y p 2 is equal to 2x into e power x divided by the value of uh, uh, a remains the same here 1 right so 2 into 1 minus 4 so 2 into 1 minus 4 that is y p 2 is equal to 2x e 2x e power x divided by 2 ones are 2 minus 4 y p 2 is equal to 2 x e power x divided by 2 minus 4 is minus 2. We can cancel them. So the final value of y p 2 which are getting is minus of x e power x. See like this we need to find the value of y p 2. So now similarly let us find the value of y p 3 that is the constant term. y p 3 is equal to 1 by f of d remains the same d square minus 4 d plus 3 into r of x is now 1. Okay, so now y p 3 will be like 1 divided by whenever there is only a constant 1 we need to put the value of a is equal to 0 d is equal to d by a when we replace and we need to put the value of a is equal to 0 right so 0 square minus 4 into 0 plus 3 so this is 0 0 and only 3 remains so the value of final value of y p 3 which we are getting is 1 by 3. So now we have found the values for y, yp1, yp2 and yp3. So, so now we need to sum this up in order to get the term yp. Okay. So now yp is equal to yp1 plus yp2 plus yp3. So yp, what is yp1 we got? Minus e to the power 2x plus of minus x into e power x right y p 2 plus 1 by 3 so the final y p which you are getting it as minus e power 2 x minus x into e power x plus 1 by 3 so this is your required particular integral okay so now in order to write the general solution we know that y is equal to y c plus y p right so uh, the final general solution would be looking like so what we got the value of yc as yeah, c1 e to the power 3x plus c2 e to the power x this is your yc term plus the yp term minus e to the power 2x minus x e power x plus 1 by 3. So this is your final answer of this question. Okay. So the question looks a bit lengthy but it's very very easy if you know the method and if you know the steps the questions are very easy you can solve it so that's all for this session in the next session we are going to we are going to continue with the type 1 problems okay thank you